Good afternoon, St. Thomas More, and welcome back to another episode of Straight Talk with Mr. Daly. Special edition today. It's been a while since we did one of these, so sit back and enjoy the show. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to uh, tie up things about the 50th anniversary. So the first thing I want to do, uh, students, is introduce you to the award winners, which we honored on Thursday night. With going through these very, very quickly, I just want to um, I want you to know who we honored. So first of all, we honored a guy named David Braid, class of 1993. He's a Juno-winning musician and composer. We also honored a guy named Patrick Gallagher, class of 1986, paramedic volunteer. He was at the celebration, was really appreciative. We honored an Alana Harkin, class of 1990. She's a Cana Canadian um, comedian, uh, Emmy winner, TV personality. Um, we honored a, a person named George Luciani, who was on staff from the beginning through 2005. He established the Kennedy in our gym, and everybody knows him who, who interacted with him. Really the lifeblood of STM and really shaped a lot of the way it is today because of his influence. We also honored a Miss Jane Milanetti, Justice Jane Milanetti, uh, Superior Court Judge, class of 1986. We honored a guy named P.J. Mercanti, who was a student council president, 1998 business entrepreneur. He owns Carmen's and is a, a pillar of the Hamilton community. Kia Nurse, and many of you may know Kia Nurse. She's our most recent uh, inductee, class of 2014, WNBA superstar, literally one of the best basketball players in the world and a TV personality on TSN. Darnell Nurse, who doesn't need much of an introduction, most of you know him for the scholarship that he, that he sponsors, but he's an NHL superstar. They just closed out their um, first round series the other day and donates to the school the sum of $80,000 a year to make, um, make post-secondary education possible for some of our kids, which is amazing. We honored a Mr. Peter Riley. Uh, now he's posthumously, meaning that he's passed away. He died of his injuries, um, and he, class of 1979, fire chief from Burlington. Vincy Travaglia, a principal who uh, is a female principal back in the times when she was the first. So she's a trailblazer, teacher, principal, superintendent, and really a trailblazer for female leadership in education, something we still desperately need. And finally, Kyle Scott, last, obviously not least, class of 2007, has lived with CP his whole life. He's an author, he's an inspiration. And so you might say, well, why are we honoring all those people? And we're doing it, hopefully, to inspire you. Uh, what, if, if you see the group of 11, you see the diverse backgrounds that they come from, the message is clear, St. Thomas More. If you want to pursue your passion, you can do it. And notice how they're coming from all diverse backgrounds. Uh, and doing different things. Pursue your passion. They say if you work in, work in your passion, you never really work a day of your life. Now, to get through the 50th, it wasn't really possible uh, without the work of so, so many. And I'm going to recognize them quickly here, uh, and I'm leading to something. Uh, so you got to listen, because all these people made it happen, and you might be asking, well, why? Why do we have to listen to this? Thank you. Well, because it's so important, and I'm getting there. So Miss Sarah Cannon, uh, past principal at this school, was the chair. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Vesprini Jordan, in guidance, really the driving force for much of this. Uh, she, she channeled her inner rock star and did a great job with all of this. So did Mr. Giovanangeli. And that's just three people, but there's so many. All of these people I'm about to list did big and small things to make the night a success. Miss Alonji, Miss Altenberg, uh, Miss Baradaco from Bishop Tonis. Mr. Block helped coordinate the mass. Miss Jessica Bozo was what Bozo was amazing. Um, Mr. Castellani and his family actually. Mr. Chardulo, Miss Couture, Miss De Mrs. Danielowitz, Miss Vortino, Miss Lucy Gravina, retired teacher, Miss Hutzel, Miss Cleric in, in guidance, Mr. Laviza, retired teacher, Mr. Marlin and Mr. Young did a ton of work. Miss Maletti Kakuza, who's a teacher in another board, but she's on the parent council and as a parent did a lot of work for us. Mr. Martuzzo, a retired teacher, Miss Silvestri, Mrs. Stocco, and Miss Tavares. Now that's just some. There were also a number of volunteers on the on the on the night who gave them their time. And the question is, why is that relevant to you students? 
because what we accomplished through the 50th is we reconnected our alumni back to this school. And because so many of our alumni are wildly successful, one in particular made an incredibly generous donation, and that's what I'm here to announce. I teased it out this morning on announcements, but Mr. Sergio Manchin and his wife, Angelo, have donated $100,000 over the next 10 years to you, the students of St. Thomas More. For one boy and one girl, each year as a grad award, $5,000 is gonna offset your first year of post-secondary tuition. What an incredibly generous gift uh, by Mr. Manchin and Mrs. Manchin. And I wanna read what he had in mind when he made this donation. So this is from Mr. Manchin. As children of first generation immigrants of Italian descent, Angela and I both witnessed firsthand the struggles and challenges that new families faced when coming to Canada. We also witnessed that tremendous talent, work ethic, and commitment to succeed that immigrants do bring this country. It is our wish to remove certain financial barriers for immigrant students who are driven to pursue post-secondary education and provide opportunities that might otherwise not be available to them. Angela and I grew up in the Hamilton Catholic Board and both had the good fortune to pursue post-secondary education. Angela returned to the board as an educator and had a successful career as a math teacher. As a graduate of STM class of 86, I graduated from McMaster with two degrees and established successful businesses in Hamilton that continue to thrive today. I credit the quality and strength of my education and the people who provided me direction at both Regina Monday and St. Thomas More. In addition to our gift, we want to bring awareness to the greater community about the importance of giving back and highlight the impact this can have on individuals and families as immigrants continue to fuel the growth of our great country and at STM. We truly hope we can inspire others in the community to get involved in a similar fashion and continue to promote the success of our young immigrant St. Thomas More children. Thank you for being there for me as a student and child of an immigrant family. Go Knights, Mr. Sergio Mancha. And so that's $100,000 and anybody in that situation can apply to it. We're gonna put packages out. Please make sure you meet the criteria. They're gonna go out this week. We'll be making that selection and those winners will be presented their awards at graduation. So all in all, the 50th anniversary was an incredible success thanks to the work of so many. And for you students, I hope you appreciate the history of St. Thomas More. I hope you got a little flavor of that and that uh, one day when you're wildly successful, you'll give back, not necessarily to St. Thomas More, but to one of the communities you come from that you love to make a better future for everyone because what Mr. Mancia just did is he's just created what's called an exponential. This will have an exponential effect as he helps these uh, 20 people over the next 10 years. Those 20 people will hopefully help thousands more. So with that, I wish you a, a great afternoon. Have a great day, St. Thomas More. And thanks for listening to another episode, episode of Straight Talk with Mr. Daly.